I lost my way No words to say Time flies by On my mind I'm cutting down the I'm cutting down the wires Feeling kinda tired I think I lost myself I think I lost myself I think I lost it all Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are looking after yourselves. The reason why I'm speaking like this is because the weather is so cold. I don't know what happened. I'm sure you can even hear the winds. It's really windy and all of a sudden it's gone so cold. I'm wearing a very thick and nice hoodie and I'm in my pyjamas and I've got some socks as socks on as well. Um, anyways, cut the crap. <laughs> Sorry, just joking. In today's video, I'm going to share with you lovelies a very original recipe of brownies, not the ones that I made before. It's a completely different recipe. It's a triple layered cake brownie with caramel popcorn and cookie topping. Yes, you heard that right. Um, I came up with this recipe just a while ago because I was craving some sweet stuff and guys it's amazing go and check out the recipe and thank me later and i shall see you very soon until then lots until then my lovelies lots of love and look after yourselves and don't forget we still have got coronavirus around us <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i keep reminding you guys about that but it's true it's still there people are going mental i mean talk about central london <laughs> anyways lovelies it's a good night from me and Soon I'm going to go to bed, so enjoy the recipe. Alright my lovelies, so we're going to start with the brownie mix. Obviously if you know how to make brownies, I've got all the dry ingredients in there. And I'm going to add um, one egg, 30 ml of cold water and 35 ml of normal vegetable oil. So which I've done, as you can see, I've mixed the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. And this is what it will look like. Make sure you mix it well and there's no lumps left in the mixture. If you guys want, I can give you a proper recipe of the brownies, how I make, make it. Um, anyways, moving forward, I've greased up my brownie tray and I've also added some slices of normal fruit cake. This is not really fruit cake, but it's got like those um, chocolate chips in there. So it's like a chocolate chip plain cake and I've sliced it up and I'm gonna pour all my brownie mixture on top. As you can see on top, it's got all the brownie mix and the chocolate chips on top. You can still see the cake through this, but make sure that you um, move the mixture around the tray so it sets in that position. I've done that, now I'm going to bake it for 25 minutes. Depending on the heat of your oven, I would say keep it at 230 to 250 for 25 minutes, but I always keep checking just to be on the safer side if it's done or not. So I'm going to pop the tray in the oven and let the brownies bake. Now on the other hand, yes, I've got one packet of caramel sweet popcorn and three chunky cookies, three to four. And I'm going to blitz these two ingredients with a bit of double cream. I'll show that to you in the next few seconds. As crazy as it may sound guys, but trust me, this combination is going to blow your mind away. So I've got all the dry ingredients. I'm going to blitz it first. So the caramel popcorn and the cookies, dry blitz it for a few seconds. And once it gets to slightly towards the bottom side, that's when I'll be adding some cream. But we're going to do it bit by bit. So once that's done, this may take a few moments, but don't lose your patience, please. Look here, you can see I have added a little bit of double cream. I'm going to blitz my mixture. And once it starts getting towards the bottom, that's when you add more cream. Now make sure you keep checking the texture of your, of your, whatever you're making. <laughs> 
um, but I will show you when I stop putting the cream in so it has to be like a it should be like not slimy but more towards like a spread texture so not too thick and not too watery so at this point I can see from here it's pretty much done but I'm going to blitz it for an extra few minutes just to make sure that there's no crumbs in the texture now this is the consistency that we want just like a thick spread and that's when you need to stop so we've got our good blitz in there now we're just going to wait for our brownies to bake and cool down make sure you mix this well as well I'm just checking on the brownies I would say another five minutes to go and they'll be done as the chocolate chips are still not melted so yes just let it completely bake now this is what the brownies look like right now but I'm gonna let it cool for like 15-20 minutes and then obviously we're gonna do the remaining of the steps so I have covered up the spread that we made on the whole tray on top of the brownies it looks a little bit messy right now but once it's spread out evenly I would say wait for 5-10 minutes don't straight away start cutting into pieces because then it might not look right after 5-10 minutes I'm gonna start cutting my pieces of brownies and I've cut them in medium sized pieces as you can see and now the final product guys I'm gonna show it to you guys to show you what it looks like it tasted amazing but can you see the bottom of the chocolate cake at the bottom it's not like a chocolate cake it's like a vanilla based chocolate chip plain cake and I'm gonna drizzle it with some chocolate syrup on top you can add it with any other syrup bar chocolate does the best justice guys and now let me just give you a proper close-up the four keeps just for some reason sliding towards my brownie I was getting so paranoid at this point but guys it's a must try I'm so proud of myself that I came up with this recipe especially of the topping it is amazing guys as you can see look at that isn't that an indulgence for brownie lovers make sure you try it at home and do let me know if you have tried it if you guys like the recipe or not trust me this is one of my favorite snacks